All right, guys, whether you're on or not, uh, I'm going to I'm going to go through these questions and uh, you can at least watch to the uh, watch the video uh, to get them. As we go. OK, number one is 170 centimeters. 170 centimeters and blank meters. OK. So I, what I'm the first question I'm always going to ask myself is which is bigger. So centimeters is smaller than meters. So smaller, what do you do when things are smaller? You divide. So I already know I'm going to divide 170. But what am I going to divide it by? What am I dividing 170 by? 170 centimeters and meters are separated by 100. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. So I'm going to divide 170 by 100. Or I'm going to move my decimal spot to make the number smaller by two spots. So here it is, divided by 100. I'm going to move it two spots. One two and i'm going to get 1.7 or one and seven tenths or one and seventy hundreds whatever you want to put there is fine there so that's the answer to number one all right now number two number two says i have it here open on my phone okay number two goes two and two hundred and fifty five grams and you're going, they want to know how many kilograms that is, okay? So, again, the first question I ask myself is, what's bigger, grams or kilograms? Grams is smaller than kilograms. So, yet again, I'm going to divide. Then I got to find out what I'm dividing by, right? So, there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So, I'm going to divide by 1,000, which means I'm going to move my decimal three spots, right? So the decimal's already there. I'm going to make my number. Was it 2,000? Did I do that wrong? Hold on one second, guys. I can't really read on my screen. Yeah, it was 2,000. 2,000. That makes more sense. So it's 2,255, and you're going from grams to kilograms. Grams is smaller than kilograms, so we're dividing. And there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, so we're dividing by 1,000. All right, so I'm going to make my number smaller. We know whenever there's a whole number, there's no decimal there. We know the decimal comes right before the ones. I'm going to move it three places, and now I get 2 and 255 thousandths of a kilo, kilograms. Okay. Now, moving on to number three. Let's see number three here. And again, you could do it right along with me, or you could watch this later as you're doing it to help you understand each question. Okay, number three, we're dealing with one and 75. That is a that is a decimal, right? 75 meters, and we're going two centimeters. So now this is a little bit different. And I put the notes there on the page. Meters is larger than centimeters. So our category, our answer for centimeters is going to be a bigger number. So now I'm going to multiply. And I got to find out what I'm multiplying by. It's either 10, 100, or 1,000. All right. So there are 100 centimeters in one meter, right? So I'm going to multiply that number by 100 or move my decimal two places to make the number bigger. So it's one and 75 hundredths. It's going to end up now looking like that. I move my decimal. So I make the number bigger. So it went, the one now is in the hundreds column. And now the answer should be 107 and five tenths centimeters. That should be your answer for that guy right there. All right, I know that now we're coming up to number four. I got a few emails about number four. So four seemed to be a challenge for you guys. Okay, let's take a look at it closer then. And again, guys, I think if you follow the steps for every single question the same way, you shouldn't run into any issues. So we're dealing with a big number here. That's a comma. So we're dealing with 14,010 milliliters and we're looking to go to liters okay so first question you ask yourself is milliliters bigger or smaller than liters it's smaller so we're going to divide right okay we're going to divide and then you ask yourself how many milliliters are in a liter it should be 1000 so we're going to divide by a thousand so we basically got to move the decimal point three places and remember there's no decimal there but we put it there Right, we move the decimal three spots, right, to make it a smaller number. One, two, three, and then I end up with fourteen and ten 
thousandths liters. So this should be the answer for that. Okay, everybody see how we moved the decimal now? Hopefully that was a little easy. Now number five, now I think five through eight or five through, yeah, five through eight is where it got real challenging. So I'm hoping that you guys are here for these ones here. Five, yeah, six, yeah, seven, yeah, eight, yeah, five through eight. These are the most challenging ones. I'm going to go through each one so you don't stress about it. Now number five has two different categories, right? It says 135 meters along with 90 centimeters. Okay. They want to know how many meters that is. So the first question I want to ask you is, if I have 135 meters, how many meters is that? It's 135 meters, right? If I have five donuts, how many donuts is that? Right? If I have six hats, how many hats is that? If I have 135 meters, how many meters is that? All right, so you're already at 135 meters, but we still have to deal with the centimeters, right? We don't have, we have 135 meters. We know that, but there's also 90 centimeters they wanted to put in the decimals. So then I asked myself again, the same question, is centimeters bigger or smaller than meters? It's smaller. So we're going to divide, right? You're going to divide. You're going to say to yourself, okay, how many centimeters are in a meter? 100, right? So there's the number 90. I have 90 centimeters, but I'm going to divide that by 100 because I want to turn it into meters, right? So I put the decimal behind the zero, right? See that? I'm going to move it two spots. One, two, because I'm dividing by 100. Two zeros, 100. And I get nine tenths or 90 hundredths. I'm just going to add that to the answer. And that's the answer for how many meters I have. I just added it or combined it to the answer. Combined it. Combined it to the answer. Okay. Now, yeah, you could have put tens there too. You didn't need to add the extra zero. But that's how that one works. Okay. So next one. Number six. Remember, you could watch this. You can come back to this. We're going to post it so you can at least look at it later of how to do each question. Okay. Now, number six. Let's see. Hopefully it's getting a little bit more less confusing. Okay, you have 60 kilometers and 750 meters, and they want to turn it into just kilometers. So I ask you again very simply, how many kilometers is 60 kilometers? 60. Okay, so I know I'm dealing with 60 decimal, right? Because I have 60 whole kilometers, and then I have 750 meters. So I got to turn that into a decimal. So then I ask myself, how many, well, is meters smaller or larger than kilometers? It's smaller. So I'm going to divide. And there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So I'm going to divide by 1,000. So that means three spots. So I put the decimal right behind the 750. I'm going to move it three spots. And I'm going to connect that to my 60 holes. So it should be 60 N 750 thousandths. If you did 75 hundredths, I love that even more. That works for me as well. Okay, good. Now, that was number six. Number seven. These are a little bit more challenging ones. Seven now, it goes the other way. So let's look at seven. You have 304 and seven tenths kilograms. And they want to know, oh, they want you to turn this one into kilograms and grams. Okay. Well, first of all, how many full kilograms do you have? You should know that answer, right? The full kilograms there is 304. That's how many kilograms you have. Okay, now how many grams is seven kilograms? So, excuse me, seven tenths kilograms. So, again, you ask yourself, what's bigger, kilograms or grams? Kilograms is bigger. So, I'm going to multiply. But what am I multiplying by? Should be multiplying by a thousand because there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. So, now I'm going to move my decimal 
three spots to make the number bigger. So take a look at this. I have this. That's what I have, seven kilograms. I'm going to turn it into grams. So I'm going to move it three spots. One, two, three. So seven tenths of a kilogram is actually 700 grams. So that answer should be this. 304 kilograms, 700 grams. You can abbreviate in your book uh, on the computer and write 304 kg and 700 G. And if you got to make the box bigger, you can do that too. It's not a stressful thing. Don't worry about it. And honestly, if you're here watching this, as long as you understand it, I'm happy about it. Guys, I'm sorry. I, I didn't have, I had the comments turned off. I'm really not looking to answer your questions right now. When I'm done, I will. But right now, I'm going to go through all the questions first. And then we could we could discuss it if you want a little bit after that. So I unfortunately, I didn't have I, any of your questions you've asked. It looks like there's been a lot. I didn't answer any of them. I apologize. But let's look at number eight now. And again, just listen. Take it in. And then we'll talk about it when we're done. Okay, number eight. Let's see what eight says. It says two and four hundred eight thousand liters, and they want you to turn it into liters and milliliters. Okay, so how many full liters do you have? It's telling you two and four hundred eight thousand liters. So the only full liters you have, the whole liters, it's like almost like mixed fractions, right? Mixed numbers. It's two. So the answer to liters right there should be there are two liters, two, because that's the only hole that I have. And then I, ha then I have 408,000 liters, and I want to turn that into milliliters. So again, you ask yourself the same question over and over again. Is liters bigger or smaller than milliliters? Liters is bigger. So we're going to multiply, but multiply by what? Well, you got to ask yourself, how many milliliters are in a liter? 1,000. So we're going to multiply by 1,000. So right here, just the 408, there's the decimal. We're going to move that decimal three spots. One, two, three. And 408,000 liters is actually 408 milliliters. So the answer to number eight should have been that. It's really not that difficult. The digits never change. It's just if you can determine which is bigger and how much and are you multiplying dividing and then that's all you really need to worry about there the next question was a word problem i believe wasn't it a word problem let's see my phone keeps shutting off on me okay here we go a man drinks six cups of coffee i take my notes i hope you're doing it six cups of coffee each day each cup right each cup Sorry about that. Is 275 milliliters. Okay. Okay. How many liters? Now, they, you saw that they changed the measurement. They went from milliliters to liters. But let's leave liters out for now. How many liters of coffee does he drink in a week? Okay. How many days in a week are there? Seven. But before that, let's find out what he drinks in one day. So in that case, we got to do 265, 275 times six. Okay, 42, 45, 12. I get 1,650. But that's milliliters, mind you. Okay? Now, that's one day. So I'm going to stick to the leave it at milliliters. I'm going to only change it at the end. So that's 1,650 milliliters in one day. Now, he does that every day for the week. So it's seven days. So let's find out how many milliliters he drinks in seven days. How, what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply. Zero, 35, 42, 45, 7, 11. Look at this. Look at this guy in his coffee. It's more than my Diet Coke. He drinks 11,550 milliliters. Okay, great. But the question wanted liters. So then I say, ah, okay. So is milliliters bigger or smaller than liters? Smaller. Good. So I'm dividing. Smaller, you know you divide, right? Makes numbers smaller. Good. So I have 11,550. I got to divide it. But what am I dividing it by? Okay, very simple. There are one, 
1,000 milliliters in a liter. That's what your chart tells you. If you watch, if you look at it, 1,000. So I'm going to divide by 1,000, which means I'm going to move my decimal three spots. There's my number. Move the decimal one, two, three. So I end up getting 11 and 550 thousandths liter. There's the answer to that question right there. Not too shabby. Okay, notice how we label it. My battery's about to die. Not good. We lose this whole video. I'll be unhappy. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about the close-up. Got it. Oof. Let's see if the green light goes on. Green light is on. Okay, we're saved. Woo! Almost lost that whole video. Not good. Okay, so we're saved. Okay, last question. Number 10. I'm running out of paper. Okay, here we go. Number 10. Again, if you're doing it along with me, great. But if you want to see it done first and then look at it, Tomorrow we'll get a little bit more review on it, and, and let's not panic. Okay, the human heart pumps about 300 liters. I always take notes, guys, always. 300 liters, okay, of blood in one hour. Okay, now they changed it. How many milliliters? See how they did that? How many milliliters in one minute? Wow. So first I got to find out how many liters. A minute. So if it's 300 liters in an hour, how many minutes are in an hour? 60. Correct. So now I do 300 divided by 60, right? And I get five. So I use the human body pumps five. Li Is that true? Wow. The human body pumps five liters of blood every minute. So, but they don't want to know liters. The answer wanted milliliters. So then you got to ask yourself the same question. Is liters bigger or smaller than milliliters? It's bigger. So we're going to multiply. Multiply by what? You notice I'm saying the same questions over and over again. Okay. There are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So I'm going to multiply five by 1,000. The easiest math of the day, I think. Five times 1,000. Equals 5,000 milliliters of blood. Take a glance, take a glance, take a look. Divided by 60 because of the minutes, that's five. I had now five liters of blood and I had it transferred, so I multiplied by 1,000 and then there's my answer. Okay, guys, that's all the questions one through 10. Right? I think that's all we had to do today. I hope you're starting to understand it a little bit more. And again, those people, what question are we on? Just go back and watch the whole video. And you can fast forward and you can manipulate whichever question you want to do. Maybe next time I'll hold a sign up. I am now on question four. So you can look at the screen and you can know where to go. That, that could work also. I will also let everybody know at home, and I'm going to tell everybody later, I've been practicing my chess, and now I'm online chess, and I'm crushing people. Still in the beginning level, but crushing people. I lost, true, I lost to my seven-year-old son yesterday, true, but I haven't lost since then. So if you are a chess player, I'm coming for you. All right, good luck with your math today. If you have still have more questions, watch the video, guys. Every question you go through. Thank you. Mwah.